Yo, what's up lads? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about how to get shredded as fast as possible for summer because summer is inbound. It is the 26th of May and if you're watching this video thinking you need to lose some body fat, you need to gain a bit of muscle, you want to feel more confident when you go away, well we're going to make all of this happen in this video and I'm going to break it down step by step because we don't want to be going to the beach club we don't want to be going out to these day events feeling like shit and not wanting to take our top off so we're going to get straight into it all right now the first thing i'm going to say off the bat is i'm not going to break down in this video exactly how to build your training program i'm just going to literally tag into the bottom of this video a free training program it's going to be a five-day training program a push pull legs push pull and instead of me walking your whole way through that in this video, just to keep it nice and sharp, I'm just gonna put a link for it below. A free training program that every one of you can take and is gonna work on top line density in your physique. And in this video, we now can just get straight into how we can set up our steps, our cardio, and our nutrition so that we can pull off all of the body fat and build muscle tissue, okay? So, first things first, what we're gonna do is do, 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 do. Number one, we're gonna go and we're gonna go on T D E E calculator. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna go on this calculator. I'm actually just gonna do it on my laptop right here. And we're gonna put in our age. So I am 24, I'm 104 kg, and I'm 198 centimeters. I just put moderate exercise and then calculate. Now we're not gonna take away any of the macros or anything from this. We're simply just gonna come in and get a maintenance calories, okay? So mine is 3,350, which is really nice and simple, okay? Now, here's what I wanna do. I want us to create a 500, calorie deficit for week one. So we now know our maintenance is 3,350. Now we could create the entire deficit from food and just simply pull 500 calories away from that. However, when it comes to getting in the best shape, you are always gonna be, be you are always gonna be better off eating as much food as possible and using low intensity, non-neurologically taxing movement like list cardio, and steps to create that deficit. And that then means that we've got more fuel for our resistance training for that free training program, and we can perform at a better level. And if you're in your first few years of training to a high standard or working with a coach or something, you are gonna build muscle tissue in this diet phase, hands down. If you have never followed a plan tailored and built for you for at least three years back to back, you are in a position where you will build muscle in a diet phase. So that extra food just allows us to have more performance, more energy, more recovery to build muscle in that diet phase. Okay, so nice and simple. So what we're gonna do, 3,350. We want a 500 calorie deficit, like I said, but as much food as possible. So we're gonna create a minus 350 deficit from food. And then we're also gonna do a minus 150 from cardio and what that is is a 500 cal deficit okay nice and simple so we've got a 500 calorie deficit now you're probably thinking okay but how do we do that with cardio so roughly speaking 10 minutes of cardio at less intensity, so between 130 and 150 beats per minute. And if you don't have a, a monitor or something on your wrist, it's roughly like a seven RPE out of 10. 10 minutes would be a roughly 100 calories. So if someone did 30 minutes on a Stairmaster, we're roughly looking at 300 calories, give or take. So simply, all we'd need to do to create a 150 calorie deficit from cardio every day would be 15 mins of cardio per day, okay? Now you're probably thinking, oh, but I don't wanna do it every day. 
Well, you could then just do with your cardio. A hundred and five minutes per week. Okay, so we've got cardio a hundred and five minutes per week. We've got training free program. And we're going to do five days flip of push pull legs, push pull. Okay, so that's cardio, training, steps. We're going to go for eight to 12K steps per day because everybody can be achieving. 8,000 steps a day. But I know some people are more active. If you're already in a, in a job, let's say like construction, you're probably gonna be doing 10, 12, 15, even some people 20,000 steps a day. So 8,000 should be the bare minimum. You don't wanna be doing less than that because it's great for not just getting in shape and losing body fat, but great for digestion, great for gut health, great for energy production. So we wanna be doing steps. So now we've got cardio ticked, training ticked, all sort of steps ticked. Now, obviously the final piece of the puzzle is food, okay? And we're gonna come in and we're gonna do 3,350 minus 350. So this is for me, remember. This doesn't mean it's 3,000 for you. 3,000 calorie. Now I'm roughly 105 kg, okay? So that in pounds, I think I'm about 200 and roughly 230 pounds so 220 yeah 230 pounds so all i would do is roughly i always say for protein you want between one and 1.1 grams of protein per pound of lean mass and i'm roughly 10 percent body fat at the moment so what we're going to do is i'm going to do my 230 pounds which is my body weight i'm going to do 230 times 1.1 all right, that's 250. So that now means I've got my protein sorted. Calories sorted, protein sorted. 250 grams. Now I'm gonna go, because I wanna get shredded as fast as possible. I wanna look the most aesthetic. I wanna look full intramuscular. I wanna look drier, harder. I'm gonna go for a high carb, low fat approach. And what that means is we can get more glycogen into the muscle, which is gonna help with performance, help with energy, help with recovery, but it's gonna make the muscle appear a lot bigger because inside the muscle, we've got glycogen, which comes from carbs, we've got sodium and electrolytes, and we've got water. So we need to make sure that we have a higher carb diet to have a fuller look whilst in the deficit. Now you can go either way, but from an aesthetic standpoint, that works. So we're gonna go low fats. Now I always say really, you don't really, as a lifestyle physique guy, wanna be going below 35, 30 maybe grams of fats at the back end of a diet. So I'm gonna just come in pretty, pretty moderate and I'm gonna say anywhere between 30 and 50. Now I'm quite a big guy. So I'm gonna go for 50 grams of fats. So if you're, let's say, 75 kg, maybe you go more for 35, 40. And that would not be a that would be a nice low-fat diet. And all I would do with the fat is just basically put most of your fats before your meal in the evening, before your meal before bed in the evening. That's just going to help with sleep whilst we are in a lower-fat diet. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, protein, fats, cool. But we've got these calories, how many carbs? So what we're going to do is... One gram of protein equals four calories. So we simply just do 250 times four. Now, I don't need to do that on my calculator. That's 1,000, okay? So you've basically now got 1,000 cal coming from protein, all right? Now we've got 50 grams of fats and that one gram of fat is nine calories. So that's 450 calories are coming from fats. But we've got 3,000 calories to play with. 
So I've got 1,450, which means I've got 1,550 calories left, okay? So 1,550 are gonna come from carbohydrates for me. Now, how did I do that? 1,450, these two combined, 3,000 minus that, 3,000 minus 1,450 is 1,550. That was quick maths for me. Now, what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna do 1,550 divided by four because one gram of carbohydrates is four calories. So we're simply just reversing this back now. So effectively, that's 387.5. I'm gonna call it 385. 300 and 85 gram carbs. So now I've got my macros, all right, done. We're not gonna waste any more time there. Now all we need is hydration. Inside that comes electrolytes. Not sure if you can see this. And the other thing we need is sleep. Without sleep and hydration, all of this is absolutely useless, guys. So we go in the calculator, we get our maintenance, we take 350 from food, 150 from cardio. 150 cardio is 150, 105 minutes per week of list cardio. You've got your free training program below this video for your push-pull legs, push-pull split. Steps, eight to 12K per day, just based around your lifestyle. The more, the better, really. Food, we've got protein, roughly one to 1.1 grams of protein per pound of lean mass. Fats between 35 and 50, I think is a good sweet spot, maybe even up to 55. And then carbs are just the remainder worked out from here. The last few things you need to remember are hydration, electrolytes, and sleep. From here, all you need to be doing is tracking that body weight daily, getting images on a weekly basis, and if you are then going to need to create a larger deficit, you can simply just add more cardio or you can take more food. So in terms of a food amendment, what I would probably do is my next amendment would be, I may just pull 50 gram carbs each time and that would create a further 200 calorie deficit, okay? So I could just add another 105 minutes of cardio for another 150 a day, or I could pull 50 carbs and that would be more. All right, nice and simple. That's all you need to get shredded for this summer because you don't wanna be in the beach club or at the day event feeling insecure that you can't take your top off whilst every other guy in there is ripped and jacked and taking all the girls. All right, let's, let's get it, let's go. Make sure you grab that free training program below it will serve you very well, I'm sure. If you follow this, you will not fail. I guarantee you, all right? See you in the next video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this has helped you out. See you soon.